All right, so I'm gonna tell you about the ingredients that are in the soup that we're gonna make this week. This is what we're gonna make. It is called a white bean cassoulet soup. It is so incredibly delicious. Okay, so this word, cassoulet, that means uh, a traditional stew from the south of France that has a lot of meat in it and uh, usually it, it takes a full day to make and it's high and saturated fat and we're just not gonna do that. Ours is gonna be a lot healthier. So let me explain to you the ingredients that are in this recipe that we're going to do next week, all right? The first thing is you need to have four cups of chicken broth. Well, as you know, I'm gonna use my own homemade chicken broth. And you can see here, probably, do you see the two different layers there? That's the saturated fat layer that I'm actually going to take off. I'm not gonna use that. But I'm not gonna have a full four cups of chicken broth. So I'm going to make up the rest of it with my uh, better than bouillon. I'm going to mix this at half strength to make up four cups. But if you wanna make it nice and easy for your parents, then have them, ask them to get some chicken broth. This is 33% less sodium and it has 25% sodium per cup. That's still high, but that's about as low as you're ever gonna get it, okay? So that's the kind of broth. You could also always use vegetable broth with that as well. The next thing that you need to have, it, the recipe calls for cannellini beans, drained and rinsed. I'm gonna use Great Northern beans. These are really cheap. These are like, I don't know, 89 cents at Kroger's. So any kind of white bean will do really, really well. Um, maybe you have everything except for cannellini beans or Northern beans. You might be able to substitute something like black eyed peas or if you have other kinds of beans, email me if you want to see if you can substitute them. The next thing is a can of diced tomatoes. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this brand, Day Fratelli, is my clear number one favorite brand of all tomato products. It's a local product. It's made right here in Northwest Ohio and they pick their tomatoes when they're ripe. They can tomatoes when they're ripe only one time a year. So I distinctly prefer these, but any can, any kind that you have will certainly do for this recipe. The next ingredient is lima beans. Now the recipe actually calls for one cup of frozen baby lima beans or edamame. I don't have frozen, so I have a can of lima beans. That's what I'm gonna use. And here's a unique ingredient. One eight ounce package of frozen pre-cooked light breakfast sausage. So this is Banquet Brown and Serve brand. I got turkey sausage because I just, you know, I want it to have the lowest fat possible. This is a 6.4 ounce box, not an eight ounce box. I'm just gonna make do with that. Now, should you have something like sausage already cooked in your house? Use that. You don't have to go out and get these. Do you wanna make it completely vegetarian? Find something vegetarian. You probably already have vegetarian crumbles or something like that if you're a vegetarian family. Uh, carrots, a couple of large carrots. And you notice I have celery down here. Celery is not actually in the recipe, but if you want to uh, cut up a piece of celery, that'd be great in this recipe, right? Or if you want to add a little bit of onion, maybe you already have some onion chopped up from last week, use that. Put a little bit of onion in there too. The recipe does call for onion powder, garlic powder, dried thyme. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't have onion powder. I do have garlic powder. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of cobble together the best things that I have. I have something called pizza seasoning that's gonna have thyme in it. I might use that. Or 
I might use this. It's called umami flavoring. It's really delicious. It is made with mushrooms though, so if you're uh, allergic to mushrooms, you can't eat this. I also have onion salt that uh, is in my cupboard. I might use a little bit of that. The last thing is thyme. I, from the outdoor raised bed garden at school, I have some thyme right here, and maybe I'll use that. And the last ingredient is a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I do have Parmesan cheese in my refrigerator, so I will use that as well. I'm going to have a link to this recipe ingredients for you. Remember, we're not going to make this until next week when you get to see the demonstration. All right.